it says the day two wrap feels more like the day 2000 wrap. <laughs> we have brought you so much great magic over World's Week so far. And in some ways, Brian David Marshall, after day four, the magic's just beginning. Yeah, it feels like we're only halfway there. We still have, you know, the World Magic Cup top eight, but we also have the World Championship top four to play out tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be an incredible day of magic. Some of the biggest names in the game too, playing for those titles. Right, we have Yuya Watanabe, we have Patrick Chapin, we have Kentaro Yamamoto, um, of course, in there as well. And Shahar Shenhar of right. Israel. So they'll be back for the World Championship. But let's focus on what happened today, because today was all about the 32 countries that advanced to day two of the World Magic Cup. And we, well, it's an incredible format, BDM. This format of just no hiding place, three rounds, and every match is just vital. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pool play. It's unlike any other Magic tournament we see in a year. Uh, you, you know, you know that where you're seating, where you're seated matters greatly, and if you're at the bottom of the pod, you know you have to 3-0 to guarantee that you're gonna be one of the two teams that advances, and there were two sets of pools that players had to emerge from. That's right, so 32 became 16 yep. over the course of the morning. Then we- Team sealed. Team, yeah, so that's Kanzo Takir, team sealed. And amongst the stories of people who had felt they had survived to get back to sealed was Team England. They were 0-2 on day one. Hungary were also 0-2, starting with bad sealed pools. And they were both very happy to come back this morning and open up much better combination of rares <laughs> and uncommons and all those fantastic on-color lands that can help your mana fixing out in this format that so relies on those gold cards and those lands. So. Both those teams advanced to the top 16. Once we were into the top 16, then things got super tense, and I've mentioned England. What about the story of the United States? Well, you know what? The United States managed to get into the top 16. They remained at the bottom of their pod. They had three losses yesterday. So they were at the bottom of their pod, which meant you know they needed to 3-0 mm -hmm. once they got to the top 16. And you know what? They did. Why don't we walk you through the top eight teams for the World Magic Cup? So the number one, with Nam Sung Wook as the champion, one of the World Championship competitors, NSW from Magic Online, South Korea, your number one seed. Yeah, South Korea, they had a thrilling game to lock up their berth with one match to go. Uh, we saw a prophetic flame speaker rip a dragon mantle off the top of the deck, put the dragon mantle on the flame speaker or a mono red deck, draw. What is it? I don't know. I'm going to attack first. Opponent has to think, think, think. How do I block? How do I block? All right, I'm just going to put these two. Uh, Sylvan carry added in the way. Wow, the card was Titan Strength. Ugh. Titan Strength, tap all my red mana, and managed to trample over with double strike trample, 16 points of damage to exactly kill his opponent and lock up a berth on day, on day three here for South Korea. Yeah. Unbelievable match. Fantastic, well done, South Korea. So your number two seed, it's England. This is the furthest we've ever taken the, you know, the, the friendly wager. Sure, yes, because we will both still have a horse on day, day three or day five of World's Week. Yeah, a fantastic job by Fabrizio uh, and Terry, uh, who is very much the dominant player on that team. He has four Grand Prix top eights. Yeah, he is a winner. Um, he was already qualified for Pro Tour Fate or Forge. Right. But his teammates were not. No, and that's, you know, we put up these little graphics that say in the top right hand corner, oh, by the way, anyone who makes the top eight, they get to qualify for the Pro Tour. And then we sort of mostly forget to keep telling you that because... Do you know who didn't know that? The South Koreans. Right. The South Koreans did not know. I was, I was preparing the questions and going over with Nam Sung Woo mm -hmm. the questions for, for, the, uh, for the interview we did. You know, and he was, he was a little nervous about his English. And I was saying, so, you know, you, and you qualified your teammates, and two teammates who weren't qualified for the Pro Tour. And he's like, well, we have to win one. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 it's top eight. And he's like, really? And they're like, yeah. And they went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, you know. So. I feared for your safety. <laughs> right. So, South Korea, England, a two. Who's number three? It's Serbia. Serbia. This is uh, Maloku from Magic Online. Right. Uh, you know, guy who's just recently won uh, won a Mox event, won multiple online PTQs. Uh, Alexei Teleroff, who's 
also qualified for that's, the Worlds like seven times. Seven times. I had no idea he was Maloki. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, huh. great job by them. And, you know, quietly just, you know, taking out the field, you know, just tearing through all, all day today. Yeah. And hands up, Serbia would have been among the favorites to not make day two as I, they so I, regularly I, I no, you know. certainly were not on you, my radar when I, was, when I was handicapping the field. No. So fantastic job by them. Now, the fourth seed, you absolutely would have said a great team. Surely they'll make it into at least the top 16, and you would have hoped the top eight as well. It's Even Flock, it's Matej Zatelkai, it's Jan Tomchani, and Mikhail Guldan, uh, who has turned quietly into one of the star turns of this incredible World's Week, the Slovak Republic. So, yeah, Zangief, as he's called by his uh, friends and teammates. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, the Slovak, Slovak Republic, uh, you know, they, they really had to, it was tense in that last round. There was a little bit of infighting on the team, a little bit of bickering, uh, a lot of strong personalities. We talked to Ivan and he's like, look, you know, we're all really good players. He's like, maybe, you know, it's sort of a higher level of player quality than maybe we've had on some, some other recent uh, Slovak teams. And as a result, people aren't always used to uh, taking orders, but you know, Flock laid down the law. <laughs> people made the decisions they need to make and got them into the top eight here. So uh, they're your four seed. Now, number five, uh, this is Owen Turtenwald and the United States. We came in, we knew that Owen was a fantastic player. Everyone, I think, mostly understood that Neil Oliver was a fantastic player. I thought that both Isaac Sears and Andrew Beckstrom were very good, and certainly they have stood up to the pressure of being Team USA, because that's not an easy chair no. to be in. No, they had, I mean, you know, you had a murderer's row along the rail, Paul Rietzel, Reed Duke, Sam Black, William Jensen, kind of just scrutinizing every decision oh. and every play and, you know, really, you know, having a lot of energy invested in the team. So that's a lot of extra pressure, especially for those three guys who, you know, all look up to Owen uh, as, as a role model to, for success. And uh, congrats to Andrew Beckstrom. The other three players on Team USA were all qualified for Pro Tour Fate Reforged. Andrew Beckstrom, he gets himself going on his pro tour career here. A trip to Washington. Well done to Andy Beckstrom and best of luck to Team USA tomorrow. Sixth seed, well, that's Martin Muller and the Danes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Thomas Einvelsen Einvel has been a uh, member of the Danish team before and is probably one of the more well-known Danes. A legacy Grand Prix winner with yes. death and taxes. Yes. Thomas Einvelsen, yep. But, um, but Martin Muller is not, not someone we've seen a, a ton of. A very quiet young man who, uh, you know, led this team uh, very capably. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they're just a terrific outfit. I think they might be one of the, the surprise packages tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Two more teams to tell you about. Seven, very emotional moment, Willie Adel. Yeah, you know, Brazil. W Willie is, uh, has talked a lot about his role in the Brazilian magic community and his desire for Brazilian magic to grow, to get more players onto the Pro Tour. And, you know, really thinking about his legacy as a Brazilian Magic player. And, you know, the World Magic Cup, he said, we missed last year making the top eight. On the last play of the last game of the last match of the last pool. And he said, till today, he has not spent a day without thinking about that match. That's how much getting into the top eight of the World Magic Cup means to Willie Adel. That's pretty incredible stuff. He's a great guy, and it's great to see him and the rest of the Brazilians in the top eight. Now, straightforwardly, your eighth seed is a bit of a shock. And I'm just being honest there. No one saw this coming. They finished 32nd yesterday to put out Japan who were 33rd, and we thought, oh, well, you know, if only Japan had been in the top 32, they'd have monstered their way through the day. And it's almost like, you know, almost like a Pyrrhic victory for Greece making it in uh, today too. Oh, but no, bottom seed in the first pool, make it in anyway. Bottom pool in the, bottom seed in the second pool, make it in anyway. Socrates, Rosa Chaos, and the guys <laughs> are going to be back on Sunday. Fantastic. The underdogs absolutely have their day. Right, and, and another country, you know, really looking to make its mark. They've had, you know, some modest success on the Pro Tour with a couple of great players over the years, but have not, you know, for a nation that loves magic so much, they have not had that kind of big rallying moment and you know they're going to uh they're gonna be playing on sunday they're gonna qualify everybody for the pro tour uh you know talked about you know 
Pro, pro Tour qualifications are hard to come by, and to be able to get four players from your country for all of these teams qualified and working together for the next Pro Tour is a big opportunity to grow magic in your country. So, tomorrow, four days are done, but five is still to come, and it comes conveniently in five major chunks. The first thing you need to remember, 9 a.m. That's 9 a.m. in Nice, which could be any time <laughs> in the world for you. So look it up. But 9 a.m. in Nice is when we get the ball rolling with all four quarterfinals of the World Magic Cup. One of those will be on camera. No idea which one it could be. But if you look at the brackets, you might go, I wonder what one I'd like to see. Well, come back at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and we'll show you one of the quarterfinals and BDM. Myself and Randy Bueller will be out covering the other three quarterfinals so you will know what's going on in each of those. So if you're following your team, you'll get regular updates, every game win as it happens, what's going on, what the board states are, so we'll give you plenty to keep you updated off camera. And, and the format for that is going to be Team Unified Standard. Right. So the decks that these teams were playing, uh, we're going to see those decks in action again. Right, indeed. Three of the four players will be in action, the fourth will be the coach. We'll see how the teams line up in the morning. So then it's time for the semi-finals of the World Magic Cup. We'll play those side by side, as it were. One on camera, one just off. Again, you'll have updates from that. Then it's the World Magic Cup final. One of these eight teams will emerge with the hardware and eternal fame. I know who I think it's going to be. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Then we have a product announcement with Hélène Bergeau, the director of Global Organized Play. Join us for that after the conclusion of the World Magic Cup. You don't want to miss that. No. Oh, hush. And then we're in to the final four of the World Championship. So will it be a back-to-back -back for Shahar Shenhar? Will it be a repeat world title for Yuya Watanabe? Will it be his teammate Kentaro Yamamoto? His Break, breakthrough finish. Incredible. Or completion of a journey that was started at Pro Tour Journey into Nyx, fittingly, for Patrick Chapin. He said, this is my PTQ. I want to be the world champion. I've wanted to be the world champion since 1994, when I heard about Zach Dolan being the world champion. Will it be Patrick Chapin? You will see the semi-finals. We'll start them off both in the feature match area and we'll bounce back and forth for all the best action of that. And then, finally, for those who've been with us since the very start of the week, thank you for 50 hours and more of Magic Broadcasting brought to you by Wizards of the Coast. It will be time for the World Championship final. We'll do some awards, we'll wave goodbye, and another World's Week will be in the books. <sighs> Just the five rather tasty chunks of magic to do first. For everyone here on the team from Wizards of the Coast, thank you so much for being part of our viewership. We love that you love the game as much as we do. Thanks again. We'll see you at 9 a.m. at Nice for day five of World's Week. Brian David Marshall, Rich Hagen, bye.